uh, my camera guy wasn't quick on the uptake. He quit. He quit. He quit. I'm excited, so I just grabbed the camera and started filming because I want you guys to know how excited I am while the lump on the log over here is just bored. What's exciting, guys? The car is coming down off of the frame rack. This is the final part of the chassis. Everything else is details from here, but the actual four wheels, a tube chassis, a four rotor drivetrain, all coming to the ground today. That's way overbuilt. That's the point. So we'll pull it off today. We'll just basically have a skeleton mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. that, that's still gonna be perfect for visualizing oh, everything yeah. else. And now it's off of here. Yep. So it means now we're wrapping stuff up. I'll spend a couple days welding and finishing things up. You saw the tabs that I made for yep. this? Yeah. This is healthy. all I've done today. Made yeah. a match on both sides. I gotta stick the one on there. I don't have to weld them and put them on the ground. We can get going, yep. you know? Right now, Corey just finished up the tabs on the tow links. So all four wheels, all the suspension up on the table is done. We could put the wheels on here in their final form. But what is currently happening is he's gonna finish up some of those tabs and then we're gonna forklift the body, this empty chassis, off of this table and onto the ground. Next week, he's gonna then finish up like welding on bottom parts and other sides that he couldn't reach while it was up here. Really, it, what you see today is done. It's uh, fine tuning it for the next couple days. You know what I've realized, guys? If I live to 50, I'm gonna be that guy that comes into your shop. Back in my day, I had a YouTube, you, you kids know what YouTube is? Better back then. Anyway, I had a C5 vet. Oh, I made all the fanboys for all the rotaries all upset by having an LS. Remember those LS? Oh my God, an L O LS. That's way more powerful than all those electric motors we run today. That's gonna be me. That's so gonna be me. I'm already <laughs> starting to make all these stories up and I'm like, oh no. Jared and I were just talking off camera was how much do we think the chassis, not the engine, not the suspension, just the chassis and whatever's left of the RX-7 without body panels is. Uh, I guessed 600 and I said, you know what, I'll give a specific number, 623. Was, what were you at? 456. 456. We want to weigh the actual chassis so we can know our, our absolutes. Okay, this part of the car weighs this much, this part of the car weighs this much, and then we can start being motorsports enthusiasts by uh, adding those numbers together and balancing it appropriately. It seems like our numbers were uh, far, far from, we haven't even weighed it yet, but we just talked to Corey and uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, we can delete footage and, and make ourselves look better. <laughs> so Corey said uh, 1,000? No, he said 1,200. Uh, I think his answer's wrong. We meant add ours together. Right, yeah, restart. restart, restart, restart. Uh, with new information presented to us, I'm gonna say 953. I'm gonna go with 954. No. <laughs> we're, we're, we're splitting right down the middle. Okay, yours is that bitch answer. You, gotta, you do that bitch move. <laughs> moment this vehicle is up on a frame rack until I destroy it. The car is leaving the shop the same way it came here on a forklift. So it was, came into that door, they're picking it up now, it's setting her on the ground. We have a bit of a predicament. The blades on the forklift aren't long enough to catch the other frame rail so that we could pick the whole car up instead of it <laughs> flipping over. <laughs> Problem solved. 
center mass is between the two blades instead of on the rear blade. That's what you saw. So exciting, this is so sick. They're, they've got it up on long uh, jack stands because they need to be able to reach under the car. There was a massive plate of metal, the frame rack, underneath it so they couldn't reach up there to finish the welds. So they're gonna finish the welds, but that means we get to put all the suspension back on and this car leaves here just missing a completed engine. Oh. <laughs> they're gonna go down on your side a little. The only question is now, how do they uh, get off those big jack stands? It's a good question. Um, they put the wheels on and then they just rip the jack stands off. Just <laughs> drop it and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lay on my back. <laughs> you can actually see the, the, you know, the welds on the bottom side. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the end of an era. The sun radiating. <laughs> am I pure? Am I pure white? I'm, I'm pure golden. How are you going to get it down from up here? Good job, Jared, asking dumb <laughs> questions. <laughs> Same way we just got it off the table. Right, that is exciting. That feels so good. You guys can see it from those wide shots. The chassis is done. It is done. The bullshit about, oh, this car will never run. So it may, <laughs> the rotor engine may never run, but this car will run. This vehicle in all-wheel drive format will put power to the ground other than my yabba dabba do pedals. But you see it, guys. I've been committed to this project and focused on solely that. The Corvette stuff, the three-rotor stuff, that's just fun while we're waiting between steps because what can you do when uh, you know, you're at the mercy of somebody else's company? You gotta, you gotta play to their rules. This is the final countdown. We can't play that song because that's copyrighted. 